Hello, Conjuguemos users or potential Conjuguemos users. I wanted to take a few moments and share with you how to assign an activity to a class. So once you've logged into your Conjuguemos account and you have created an activity, um, you go to the folder that contains that activity. So in this case for me, it would be the Spanish one chapter three folder. Now choose that. And then you go to the activity that you would uh, like to work on and assign to your students. So here I've decided to choose the ir y jugar verb activity. I'm going to go all the way down to the end of this row where we have the little three dots. Click that. And then down at the bottom, the second from the bottom says turn to assignment. The wording here is a little odd, uh, but that's what you want to click on. So click on turn to assignment. And then this page comes up to create your new assignment. Uh, the main assignment that I generally give to my students is to complete a graded practice. So I'm going to call this, so the students know what it is, graded practice, ir y jugar. Okay, so down here with the mandatory requirements, it says that each assignment needs to have at least one of these. So what I like to do is set a time limit that they need to achieve in order for this assignment to count. So depending on the activity and how long we've worked on the material, I generally choose five to eight minutes. This time I'm gonna choose five minutes. And then the number of words or verbs that they need to process through during the graded practice would go here. I didn't used to click this and assign a certain number because all students uh, go at a different rate. However, some students got kind of smart and started to only do one or two and walk away having completed the assignment with 100% with only having waited out the clock, basically. So I generally put in 30 uh, words somewhere in there. Uh, here are the additional settings that you can select a due date should you choose. I'm going to choose Friday. And then a minimum score to pass. So this is definitely optional if you just want the students to complete the activity and get through a certain number of words, that's fine. But here you can also enter in a uh, percentage. If you don't enter in a percentage, then it will let them finish once they have completed the five minutes and the 30 uh, verbs, if those are your options. Otherwise, if they don't reach the 75%, then they'll have to retake it. Um, here it says have the activity visible while the assignment exists. So what that means is that students can still work on the activity even if it is not through the assignment link. So I always leave that click because I never know when students want to go back and review things. Uh, in a perfect world, that would be more often than they actually do. Uh, allow students to do the assignment after the due date has posted. And I tend to leave this clicked as well, uh, just so students that are absent can go back in and do it without me having to recreate an assignment or repost something. So once you have everything set here, we go to create assignment. Okay. And then you'll see the assignments that I have created recently. So we scroll down a little bit and here it is. Graded practice, ir y jugar, Spanish one. Uh, the ir and jugar went in Spanish one automatically because that's where I had that activity posted to that folder. So if I want to share this with my students, there are a couple ways that I can do that. I can go down here to share, and this will give me a shareable link. And so I can copy the link and then go into Google Classroom, which is our LMS, and post it there. Uh, or I can also, excuse me, uh, go to just assign, and then it will assign it to the class. Um, and they'll have a little notification up here at the bottom that has successfully been assigned. So when your students log in to Quantuquemos, they can go up to my assignments and that will appear under their assignments. When you go up here to grades, you can see all the grades for activities, assignments, and quizzes that you have assigned to your students. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any more questions, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to help. Have a wonderful day. Adios.